NMSU President John Floros tells me that a lot of things are keeping him up late at night. And one of those things is how to make sure his students and staff stay safe once they return. How do we convey the message to them that we will do everything in our capability to make this a safe campus, particularly during this, this time of crisis? This is what NMSU looked like last fall. And now it's empty. We're truly working into a plan to really bring the students back for the fall semester. Uh, that's our commitment. That's our plan as of today. A message is being sent out to staff to think about the ways that they can bring people back to their departments safely and develop a plan by May 15th. Think about your job. Think about your department. But also think about what can you do to help us make this safer for you and everybody else around. So it's, it's a two-way street for us to minimize risk. We all have to work together. Flero says they're approaching the move in phases, thinking about smaller class sizes, hybrid classes, and even limiting the number of students living inside the dorms. Things will change. And we're going to have to have the flexibility, the adaptability to change the decision as we move forward. We have to complete and continue to complete our mission, which is to teach our students, to do our research, and to serve the, the, the people of the state and the world. And of course, we're going to continue to follow this story as the fall semester approaches. You can expect ABC7 to bring you all of the latest on NMSU once their students come back to campus. From our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Brianna Chavez, ABC7.